The world's oceans hide more than just marine life. Beneath the waves, nations patrol with submarines, some carrying nuclear missiles. These stealthy vessels represent a powerful deterrent. They guarantee a country's ability to retaliate, even after a devastating first strike. Two such underwater weapons are the focus of our exploration. The Russian R-29 RMU Sinova and the Indian K-4 Sagarika. Both missiles carry nuclear warheads. Both can be launched from submarines, adding a new dimension to nuclear strategy. These missiles embody the latest technology. They are incredibly destructive. Their presence influences global power dynamics. Understanding their capabilities and implications is essential in today's world. Let's dive deep and explore these underwater titans, comparing their strengths and roles in the global security arena. Section 2 R-29 RMU Sinova Russia's Underwater Ace The R-29 RMU Sinova is a submarine-launched ballistic missile. It forms the backbone of Russia's sea-based nuclear deterrent. Deployed on the Delta Favor class submarines, the Sinova is a formidable weapon. This missile boasts an impressive range of over 8,000 kilometers. It can carry up to 10 independently targetable nuclear warheads. Each warhead packs a powerful punch, capable of devastating entire cities. The Sinova's long range allows Russian submarines to patrol closer to home. They can hide in the Arctic ice or the vast Pacific. This makes them very difficult to detect and track. The Sinova's multiple warheads can overwhelm missile defenses. They can target multiple cities or military installations simultaneously. This makes it a crucial part of Russia's strategic arsenal. Section 3 K-4 Sagarika, India's Submarine Sentinel India too has developed its own submarine-launched ballistic missile, the K-4 Sagarika. This missile is a key component of India's nuclear triad. It provides a credible second strike capability. The K-4 boasts a range of around 3,500 kilometers. It can carry a single nuclear warhead. The missile is designed to be launched from India's Arihant-class nuclear submarines. While its range is shorter than the Sineva, the K-4 is highly maneuverable. It is designed to evade enemy missile defenses. This makes it a potent weapon in India's arsenal. The K-4 is a testament to India's growing technological prowess. It is a symbol of India's commitment to maintaining a credible nuclear deterrent. As India builds more Arihant-class submarines, the K-4 will become increasingly important for its security. Both the Sineva and the K-4 represent a significant leap in submarine-launched ballistic missile technology. They highlight the growing importance of sea-based nuclear deterrence. These weapons are difficult to detect and destroy, guaranteeing a country's ability to respond to a nuclear attack. The development of these missiles reflects the changing nature of warfare, where the emphasis is shifting towards stealth and survivability. Submarines provide a stable platform for launching nuclear weapons and they complicate an enemy's strategic calculations. The future of submarine-launched ballistic missiles is likely to involve even greater range and accuracy. We can expect to see advancements in warhead miniaturization and missile guidance systems, making these weapons even more potent and difficult to counter. The R-29 RMU Sineva and the K-4 Sagarika represent the cutting edge of submarine-launched ballistic missile technology. These weapons are changing the face of modern warfare, serving as powerful testaments to the ingenuity and strategic thinking of their respective nations. As the world enters a new era of geopolitical uncertainty, these underwater weapons serve as a stark reminder of the destructive power of nuclear weapons. They highlight the importance of diplomacy and arms control in maintaining global stability, these missiles are more than just technological marvels. They are symbols of the enduring human capacity for both innovation and destruction. Their presence in the world's oceans serves as a call for peace and a reminder of the stakes of nuclear proliferation. <laughs>